In this video, I want to show you what to do in case your HP DeskJet 2827E is printing blank pages, or even if it's not blank, it's very faded and it's hard to see whatever got printed. This probably means that your print heads of your printer are clogged or are dried out, or it can also be a software issue. So the first thing I suggest to do is to go ahead and disconnect your printer from the wall outlet. So this is the power cable that goes on my printer. Simply pull this out and leave it one minute. After one minute, go ahead and reconnect and try printing again. Many times this simple trick can solve so many problems with this type of printer. If you're still having issues and yeah, it's not printing the way it's supposed to, let me show you how to clean the print heads on this printer. Basically, all you have to do is to open this door over here. Wait until the print heads are presented to you in front over here. Great. Put your finger on the top and push down. Okay, this way we'll be able to extract them from the printer. And right over here, this is what we call a print head. Over time, if you're not printing for three weeks, one month or two months, depending on which kind of climate you're living, if you're living in a dry climate, these will dry quickly, okay? Uh, you'll need to unclog them. And there's a good news, you can do this at home in just a few minutes. You don't have to buy new ink cartridges. Let me show you how to unclog this type of ink cartridge. At the end, you just have to put them back, start printing again, and 90% of the time, they will work. If it's still not working after what I will show you next, then you'll have to buy uh, new ink cartridges, unfortunately. And I'll put links in the description towards cartridges that are compatible with the 2827E printer. So let me show you how this is done. All right, to do this, you'll need stuff that you already have this is the good news you'll need a plate or a pan that you're gonna fill it with tap water the the water here must be warm okay so put the warmest temperature on your uh, you know faucet and you'll need about i would say what a centimeter deep of water you don't need to pour, pour a lot okay once you have this, you also need a paper towel, the one you use uh, in your kitchen. And you'll also need some cotton swabs. Great, so let's start. You're gonna take uh, the cotton swab and you're gonna dip it in the warm water. Then remove the excess water that is on the swab Take your cartridge in the other hand and you're gonna rub the print head. The print head is uh, at the opposite side where the color top is with the label, okay? So this is the print head. And you're gonna rub it just to dislodge any um, dried ink. Okay, once you're done, you can take the dry side. Okay, now you're going to take your cartridge and you're going to dip it in the water, okay? Like so. It, you know, since it's not deep, the water should arrive at, I would say right here, about the centimeters. This part should not get in the water. This should be in the water okay and gonna let it sit like this for about two minutes if you're more patient you can let it sit for five ten minutes it's your choice once you're done you're gonna take it out take your paper towel and you're gonna dab it by dabbing i mean just pressing the cartridge on the paper just to dry it okay and it's normal that the color will leak like so okay
perfect. After dabbing it 10, 20 times, you should be uh, fine. Just make sure that uh, everything is dried. You see, there is still some water here. Okay, dry everything. The contacts too, they should not be with water on them. Perfect. Now you can insert it back and try your cartridge. If you still have problems, what I suggest you to do is to dip it in the water again, but this time for at least an hour or two. This means that the ink is really dry and, and it will take more than just a few minutes to make it work again. So let it sit an hour, two hours max, and then repeat. Take it out and start dabbing and just drying the cartridge. And don't be afraid to press the cartridge against the paper towel, okay? And hopefully this time it will work. If you have other tricks on how to make a dry cartridge work, please let me know in the comments below. If not, I always appreciate if you can leave a like or subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.